blending and juicing. The reason why we juice is to specifically take the fiber out of the fruits and vegetables. So you specifically want to separate the juice from the fiber. The reason why you're doing it is because you're getting a, talk about a supplement, you're just getting a power pack of nutrients. I mean, how else can you get this much into your system? Unless you're juicing and you're taking the fiber away from the juice because you get the nutrition from the juice. And then people, in people's mind, they'll say, well, what about the fiber? Don't we need fiber? Well, absolutely, we do need fiber. And after you drink the juice, then what are you going to do? You're going to eat your salad or then eat your fruit. So you get all your fiber in your whole fruits and vegetables that you eat. The juice is not for the fiber. The fiber is to clean our, our, clean out our intestines and our colon. But the, the juice is to get nutrients. And it takes, 30, it takes 24 hours to get even fruits and vegetables into your cells. When you drink juice, they say it takes 30 minutes. Boom. So people complain about not having energy. Where do we get our energy? We get our energy from sleep. We get our energy from exercise. We get our energy from not eating those foods that deplete our energy, like coffee and alcohol and fat and sugar and white flour. Those things take away our energy. But the biggest thing is we get our energy from fruits and vegetables. So it's the fruit and vegetables that we ate yesterday that give us, gives us our energy today. And it's from those nutrients, and the nutrients, doesn't, the nutrients don't come from the fiber. The nutrients come from what? The juice. So the juice is very, very, very powerful, and that's why when I started drinking it, I really just kept drinking it. I figured that was my way. That's my health insurance right there. So let's quit arguing about health insurance, and let's really have real health insurance. And I do like the fact it has a great big spout. Let me show you. I'm doing this upside down, backwards. I'll show you. See, that has you want a feed tube that's not that big. I have to tell you, for years and years and years and years, I used a different juicer and had a feed tube about this big. And Katie, I told Katie about this juicer, but I didn't want to get it yet because <laughs> my other juicer hadn't broken. And so finally it broke, and then I got this juicer, and I finally used it, and I was like, Katie, why didn't you tell me to get to use this and get this right now? Because it's so much more convenient. Because I used it, look at it, I can put a whole carrot through there, a whole great big huge carrot like that, or you can put several carrots in there. You see, you several carrots. So rather than having to cut this up into fours or fives to get into a little feed tube, you're really putting a lot in at one time. Literally, it just takes me minutes to make juice from the beginning to end, even if nothing's washed. So to incorporate it into your already busy life and you're trying to already make changes, it might not be something you want to start now. It might be something you would like to start when you're a little bit firmly planted as far as eating more fruits and vegetables. But I'll tell you, it's just, it's really, once you get used to it and get into the habit of it, it's a really simple, easy way of getting really good nutrition. You know, we talk about getting supplements and those kinds of things. Well, this is the best supplement you can get. It's real food. Real food. Live well, eats on here. I am not a mechanical person. You can ask Katie. If I need anything done, I just call Katie. If I can't, like, flip a key onto a car and get started, I'm done. I mean, that's it. Someone else has to do it. Well, that's, I'm like that with everything. So, but this is really easy. If I can, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So it just sits on here, and you just sit, see it just sits just like that. It's really easy. And then this, this thing here, the fiber or the, you know, whoops, that's water. The fiber it goes into here, and this is very convenient because you just take a plastic bag here, and it goes in here. And if you cover it up well, you don't even have to wash it. You do once in a great while, but you don't have to wash it all the time, so that's really convenient. It has to be convenient, let's face it, because we're busy. We work, or we do have activities, or whatever. It just has to be really extraordinarily convenient, and it is, this is really convenient. And then you just stick it under here. I'll show you once it goes well. And then this just comes up like this, and it hits. <laughs> so it has to be sharp and a chef, so you can fit your hand under there. So many people don't have a large enough blade, and you don't want too large, but that's a pure a true chef knife. You gotta have a good knife because otherwise your knuckles, especially when you and you're cutting your salads, well, what a pain to, to cut a salad when the knife is is small. I'm just doing that at someone's house. And it's cheap. <coughs> so Carrie, uh, uh, peel the oranges for me. So uh, these are organic apples, local apples, and to me I wouldn't eat that apple because it's not crunchy and crisp enough because I'm really persnickety about apples. I want them crisp. So, but these are kind of more wishy. And because they're more mushy, they're, to me, the juice apples. The perfect juice apples. So we're, I'm just going to do, you can do any fruit you want except for banana. 
So any fruit you want, but these just happen to these happen to be in my refrigerator. <laughs> so I'm doing apple and orange. So do this backwards. So do we have a slow speed and we have a fast speed, and you probably can't hear me. So literally, just going through this. I would do fruit. I just start with fruit. I wouldn't even try vegetable. <laughs> just start with fruit because you're gonna like it. It's gonna taste good. And uh, then after a while, you could venture into that's not very much, but you could venture into doing other stuff. And then, but what I do is eat the the ju the vegetable juice that I have is I have it before I have the salad. So it should settle about 15 minutes before you actually eat. Because remember, it's, it's being absorbed really fast into your system. So if you mix it up with everything, if you drink it with your meal, then you're not going to get the absorption so quickly. So it's mixed up with everything. So what you do is drink the juice first, and then I wash the juicer, and I make my salad. Right, don't make it more com If you make it complicated, and you, th you think, oh, you have to find a book, and find a recipe, and put it all together, and, oh, it's going to be one apple, and one orange, and, you know, forget it. I mean, let it go. And literally, just get vegetables and put them in. And then you're going to figure out what you like more of or less of. Don't make this a big, complicated deal. I promise you, you won't do it then. The most important thing is just get the fruit and vegetables in you. That's it. Literally. Put all the celery at one time. And I just grind through. Now, if you taste that and you decide you don't like it, I would just throw some apple in it. The only thing you can do is ginger and uh, lemon. Just a little bit of lemon. I put the whole lemon in there. This is what I have. This is typically, this is what I had last night for my juice. I had kale. I had parsley. I did not have cucumber. I had celery. I had celery. But then you throw in this other stuff, cabbage. It could be green or red, or this is in between. It's both. So here's cabbage. And I always, almost always put what in? Beet. Beet, sweeten it up. That's, you peel that though, right, Leslie? You know, that's a really, that's a good question. I don't usually, even though I did this time, in case it bothered people. Because the peel itself is pretty strong. And one of my patients came in just last week and said, you know, I'm juicing, and one day I juiced and I had a beet and chard and kale, and she said her whole throat burned for about four hours afterwards. <coughs> so then she was talking to a friend of hers, and she was thinking it was either the kale or the chard. This, this just shows you how you, you really try, but it doesn't mean we really have figured it out. Green stuff in first. Cucumber's really mild. The celery's mild. Chop herbs. Kale is really good for you. There's nothing mild about it. And same with parsley. Parsley is really excellent for you. And it grows like a weed. But there, again, there's nothing mild about it. But look how much you can stick it at one time. Okay, I'm going to put apple in it. key if we just think nutrition uh, that's a huge thing you think nutrition if you think nutrition your weight's going to be where you want it then not that the weight's the, the most important thing but we know it is important enough your weight's going to be where you want it and you're going to have your health you're going to have a, it's just an incredible incredible um, just a